cam and follower. When two elements of a pair have a point or a line contact, when relative motion takes place, and the motion between the two elements is partially sliding and turning, then these pairs are known as a higher pair. This cam and follower are higher pairs, since the contact between the cam and the follower is point or line contact. These cams and followers are used in internal combustion engines, feed mechanisms of automatic lathes, diesel fuel pumps, etc. Cam is a rotating element that gives reciprocating or oscillating motion to the follower. Cams are of various shapes and sizes, based on the required applications. Let us first understand how the cam and follower mechanism works. The cam and follower is mechanical device that is used to achieve reciprocating or oscillating motion. This setup consists of three basic parts. Cam, follower, and the guide or frame. Cam acts as a driving member. Follower acts as a driven member, and the frame is the support that acts as a guide for the follower. The profile of the cam is designed to achieve the desired motion, and the follower is placed on the cam which is held in the frame. As the cam rotates its varying cross-section makes the follower reciprocate. This is how the cam and follower mechanism works. If you are enjoying this video, please give this video a thumbs up, and if you are new to ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification to get more informative videos like this. Types of cams. Cams are classified by their shapes. There are radial cams, cylindrical cams, wedge cam, conjugate cams, globoidal cams, and spherical cams. Let's see each type one by one. Radial cam is made from a flat plate or disc, whose outer circumference is designed to produce the required movement of the follower. Hence this type of cam is also called has a plate or disc cam. In this cam, the axis of the disc is perpendicular to the motion of the follower. The next type of cam is a cylindrical cam, which is also known as barrel or drum cam. This cam is shaped like a cylinder, and a groove is cut on the surface of the cam, and the follower follows the path of the groove. In this type of cam, the direction of motion of the follower is parallel to the axis of the cam. The third type of cam is the wedge cam. The motion of this type of cam is a sliding motion and the shape of the cam is in the form of a wedge. Then we have a conjugate cam. Here the cam is provided with the two rollers that are connected to the cam. This arrangement of the rollers constrains the motion of each other and provides a noiseless operation. Globoidal cam. The construction of this type of cams is similar to the cylindrical cam but the surface of the cam is either convex or concave. In this type of cam, the follower oscillates about the fulcrum. Spherical cam. This cam is in the form of a sphere and is provided with a groove along which the follower moves. Since we saw the different types of cams, now let's see the different types of followers. The followers are classified based on their shape, position, and type of motion. Based on shapes the followers are classified into Knife edge follower Roller follower Flat faced follower Spherical follower Knife edge followers The knife edge followers have a pointed edge and there is a sliding motion between the cam and the follower. This type of setup is simple and compact, the problem with this type of follower is friction and wear. Due to the sliding motion between the cam and the knife edge follower, there is a lot of wear. To avoid the problem of wear, roller followers are used. The roller followers have the rollers at the end. Roller comes in contact with the cam and provides a rolling motion which helps in reducing the friction. Flat-faced follower. This type of follower has a flat surface and provides a quick motion, but it develops high surface tension when it is misaligned or deflected. Spherical-faced follower. This follower is developed to overcome the disadvantages of flat-faced followers. Here the contacting surface of the follower is in the form of a spherical shape which results in less wear and tension. Classification of the followers based on their position. They are classified into two types. Those are, the inline follower, and the offset follower. If the axis of the follower coincides with the center point of the cam then it is called an inline follower. If the axis of the follower is offset, or does not coincide with the center point of the cam then it is called an offset follower. Classification of the followers based on their motion. If the motion of the follower is in the straight line, then it is said to be translating follower. But if the follower is pivoted at a point, and the follower oscillates about its pivot, then it is called an oscillating follower. I hope you have understood the cam and followers and their types. It takes lots of effort to make such informative videos. 
you can help ADTW learn to make more videos by joining my channel and contributing to developing more such videos. Your support will help me to make more educational videos. Another way of helping my effort is by sharing my videos with your friends. Thank you.